You make bridges crosses, Paddy. I do. And what's the bridges cross well, signify? Saint Bridget uh, used to mine stock. And she was a great, great iron, a Parrick bridge, who was Colum Hill. And they were the three great saints. And we had uh, the custom, even old houses that were being demolished, we used to, to count the crosses. You could know about the edge of the house. They'd make their roof ones just cross them on St. Bridget's Eve. But the real way to do it, the head of the house takes off his cap and he blesses himself and he, he makes the, the Bridget's cross. He doesn't have to have a, a great one. And he certainly goes right round the house then, outside, and he asks St. Bridget's protection for all inside the house and round the house for the coming year. And then if he has cattle, he goes into the field and he asks her to protect his livestock for the next year. Mm. And then he comes back and uh, the bridge it's crossed and sometimes uh, people hang them in the house but they usually have one in the buyer. Mm. And what do you make them out of? Rushes. Uh, no shortage now in the West Ireland. Uh, of rushes. No rushes. And is it a special rush or any rush? Uh, no, the ordinary rush but it has to be uh, cut in June and uh, put in then where uh, it won't get wet in a shed, and then in about two or three months, it's right. You can dampen it, and then you start the, the waving and the diamond shape. Mm. And uh, do you you make them yourself? You do, yeah. Um, I made thousands. Some went out to Spain, yeah. out to Australia, to America. And do you sell them? No, I, no. I don't take money for. For anything. You don't take it. Even students that come to me, <laughs> they're poor enough without charging them. Okay, well I, done. And I help them with the old time stuff. And 